Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Robbie Bobby channel. I am your host, Robbie Bobby. Now if you're new to the channel and you like builds uh, of R2-D2 and the DeLorean and you like unboxings and reviews and etc and you like happen to like my videos, don't know why, feel free to drop us a like and subscribe if you want to. You don't have to, but I want you to. Anyway, so this week we have got issue 30 of Build the R2-D2 and in this month's magazine, this week's magazine even, uh, we're dealing with uh, the leg. It's all the inner pieces of the wiring, etc. So we can get that wheel working because we all know how technical I am. I have done the completion of the coverings because I jumped ahead of myself really. I just wanted to see what it would look like and it looks pretty awesome. We're gonna have to take this uh, apart. So I don't know how to take this apart. I'm sure that wasn't supposed to happen. You gotta strip it all the way down to these uh, uh, skeleton thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. Also, what you'll need with this issue is this wiring that you received from issue, what, 20 odd something? I don't know. But you receive this and put this to the side, so you've done that. And this week, we're gonna put that all together with the, this week's build. What am I talking about? You wanna take this sensor that you received previously and uh, stick that on somewhere. Okay, so without further ado, let's go onto the table and build this week's build. We've got this piece here. Put that to one side. This monstrosity here. We'll put this to one side. We've got the sensor. We we'll put this to one side. And then we got this leg. Put this to one side. First off, we open this. Let's see what this. We can zip the wires together. Uh, you got this monstrosity here, which is quite heavy and sturdy. I'm surprised on how heavy it is. I wasn't expecting it to be heavy, but obviously when you think about it, it's a robot and it's supposed to be heavy. So we'll open this up and there you go. That is the motor of the leg or one of the leg, or wheel should I say, not entirely the leg, it's just a wheel. And uh, you stick this on to this piece here. So you take this uh, leg that you completed last week. And you see this wheel, it's all really, it's really nice. I did this joke before it sucked in and it sucks now. I want to stick that into the hole like so. In issue 28, you received these screws. I think it was issue 28. Anyway, it's a previous issue. Uh, and you get these uh, longer silver screws and you want to use for them to hook that to the rest of the leg. And there you have the mechanism on the wheel of the leg of R2-D2 and it's not moving. Well, of course it won't move because this part isn't moving. Is it these cables? I think it's these cables. Uh, thread the cable through the gap. Okay, uh, I take it it's gonna be this. Can't see any other cables looking like that color. Okay, so we just feed that through. Remember kids, I'm showing you how not to build a model. So I'm doing a lousy job on purpose. That's what I tell myself every day in my job. Put that in all the time. Okay, so we fed those in. Now what? Um, we turn the page. That's gonna be easy enough. Okay, so uh, we take, ooh. We use this cabling now, the orange and red or the yellow and orange. I think we established that it's a yellow and red. Identify the larger plug, this plug, uh, that you received in issue 17 and uh, do what? Insert the end of the cable tie through the remaining loop. What? I'll be right back. And welcome back. After consulting my brain on this issue, um, we have studied the magazine in detail. We should do what the magazine says. We took these zippers, uh, I call them zippers, uh, they're short for zipping. Get through the little needle uh, of the skeleton and zip lock them tight. I'm not gonna do it tight just yet because they do say uh, to leave extra room for this cable at the bottom here. A little bit past the wheel, I would say, uh, just in case you haven't got like a ruler, which I haven't got at the moment. But you just wanna roll it past, a little bit past the wheel uh, to make sure that you got room to plug this somewhere in future. You don't want to secure these uh, tight at all. Um, you want to secure them, but not just that tight. That's all I'm saying. So you want to have a little bit more uh, slack. 
get the excess off. There we go. And there we have a fully functional robot. Not yet. What you want to do is you want to take this sensor out of the bag. And I don't know how it's a sensor though, because it doesn't look like anything that could be a sensor. But hey, there you go. I'm not sciencey. So there you go. Sensor. It's quite a thick cable. Hey, look at that. That is a very thick cable indeed. I don't know why I'm so impressed with the cable. Uh, so there you go. That is the sensor of the leg of R2-D2. And if you don't know, uh, you have this hole right here on the side of R2-D2's leg and it just feeds through like that. So that's rubber. Why am I so impressed with this? And then you just feed it through. Feed it through like that, is it? Is it like that? You just feed it through? Okay, so I think it is. Why does that look stupid? Cable through this part here, and then you just slide that in like so. See? Why is that poking out? I don't know why that is so wonky. Maybe it's supposed to be. I don't know. But that is secured in the uh, underneath anyway, so I don't know. Why are you wonky? Are you supposed to be wonky? Is it supposed to be wonky? Okay, I'm, I'm guessing that it's supposed to be like that then. The other cables, and you just feed that through to the uh, leg covering. We got the sensor in place and it should feed in like so. And then you just hook on the leg. And then you just slide this thing that's supposed to come on. And there we go, R2-D2's leg with the wires. It looks so real. You take these guys right here and you just screw that in place in the holes. I hope the holes have coverings later on because I don't want them to be all holy. We need to take the screws and the screwing in place. Okay, so there you go. The uh, leg of the R2-D2 is almost complete. There you go, that's the top part. And you got the wires extending into the dome area. And you got the little leg pieces with that gonna be looped somewhere. I'd rather have it too long than too short. I don't know why, but that's my philosophy. I'm gonna stick with it. Connect this piece together like so. Oh, that's a nice fit. And then you just take the other piece. And stick that on. Oh, there we go. I gotta stick those in as well. The arch of this and then the arch of that line it up together and then just push it into the holes at the side. Just wanna take the remaining of the screws and just secure that. That is looking very beautiful and it's very heavy. It's freaking heavy. That, the sensor does bother me a little bit. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. Uh, what do you guys think? Okay guys, so there you have it. You have got the leg of R2-D2 looking kind of cool, looking technical as well. what do you think about Tar2? I thought as much actually to get this thing done. The next thing, uh, the next part is next week. Uh, the next part next week even is the uh, foot for the R2-D2, so you get the completion of the uh, foot and all that's remaining, I think, is this block that covers it from the inside there. And then I think the leg is pretty much done. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Until the next video, I'll be doing more unboxings, more builds, and more gameplays. Robbie Bobby, signing out.